everyone, this is Cappuccino. I'm Roshan Adeem. Super excited to share my very own birthday cake tutorial, birthday cake decorating tutorial with you guys. So, yep, I baked my very own birthday cake for the very first time. So, I baked some coffee cotton sponges, I whipped some coffee cream, and made some praline. So, these three are the basic components of this cake. And you will get the recipe in the description box below of this cake as well. So, first of all, start layering up your cake, smear some frosting, and look at this beautiful glass-like looking shiny praline. Crack it, smash it, and use it in each and every layer of your cake. This will give it a really nice crunchy texture to a soft, soft cake, which will complement amazingly. So, first layer, then the second layer, and you can see how it's breaking apart because this was so soft. And once the second layer is done, some more frosting, praline, third layer of cake, frosting, praline, and the final fourth layer of cake. And before covering the whole thing, always make sure you fill in all the edges, all the gaps which you get while piling up your cake. You always get those gaps, so make sure you fill them first. That will make your final frosting super duper easy. So you will get the recipe of this cake on my youtube channel i'll give you the link in the description box as well and by the way this was my very first very first voiceover video so everybody appreciate it and the credit goes to my mother because she wanted me to do a voiceover instead of subtitles because she thought i have the potential to do and um, she believed in me when i didn't believe in me in myself so she's amazing and credit goes to her and thank you for all of you guys for appreciating it so much and this that was like the most watched and the most liked video and the most demanded for the flower red so i thought why not uh, do that for you guys so it's kind of like a remaking of the cake with a better improved everything so cover the whole cake and i actually know a few people who just watch my videos for the voiceovers and they have nothing to do with baking and cooking stuff so that actually makes me feel super amazing and thank you <laughs> thanks so much cover the whole cake with the frosting and try to make it as neat as you can also uh, when i uploaded the video few people actually tried it and they sent me pictures which just made my day and i just sh i've just shared those pictures of cakes which my viewers made on my channel um uh, sorry on my page on my facebook page so you can go and check that out along with the reviews so the reviews are there and the pictures of their cakes are also there so check those out as well and this is an amazing cake that's why i chose it for my birthday that's really good so you can imagine how good it is then now place your knife uh, at the 45 degree angle and slowly drag for the really nice clean top canvas and uh, you must make sure that your knife is super clean from each for the each interval each swatch now for the frosting uh, of, of the, the flowers take uh, the petal tip put it into the piping bag and smear some chocolate frosting into it now this will simply give our frosting and uh, the flowers an ombre effect. Fill the rest of your bag with the same coffee frosting. Make sure if you're using two frosting, they both must be at the same consistency. It's really important, otherwise you will end up with a mess. And just take out some from the um, take out some of the frosting to reveal the ombre effect. And once you're happy with the, the ombre effect you are achieving, it's time to make the roses. So for this, you will need a flower nail and watch it carefully. The pointed area of your piping tip, the pointed area, should be placed on to your flower nail and slowly start making a bud first. And after making a bud, we will be building up a set of three petals because that's how rose is made there's a set of three petals first and then a set of five petals so three petal first five petals and then you can build up as many petals as you want depending on the size that you want to achieve of the rose so that's how naturally roses are so if you will up, um, follow this rule you will get a bit more of a realistic looking roses 
Now once your rose is done, place it on top of your cake. And to place, take your scissors um, and then just pick it up with them. Take it close to your cake and simply drag it with the help of a knife or anything flat onto your cake and boom, it's on the cake. Simple, super simple. And this was a kind of like closed rose and now we will be doing a bit of um, an open rose. So it simply depends on the positioning of your piping bag with your flower nail. So if you will um, position your bag slightly away from your um, flower nail and closer to from yourself, you will end up getting a bigger, uh, like an open rose, which you can see over here and vice versa. So I'll be doing the whole wreath of roses in the same way and after that i have some a thicker consistency of chocolate ganache into a simple piping bag nothing too fancy and we will be using that to make artificial drips and just because of the thicker consistency uh, you can even achieve dramatic looking artificial drips which looks so cool you must try doing like a wavy sort of drips and as you can see, my flowers are almost like floating on top of the cake and they're not connected together like a breath. So I'll be using the same leftover frosting with the same tip to make a few leaves in the middle. So we'll be going at the outer edge first as well as at the inner edges, in the inner corners of the roses. So they will, that will make it look more like um, a single piece of ring of roses. So pretty much done with the cake and uh, hope you liked it and you can play around with the colors like making uh, this is a pineapple cake you will get the recipe link in the description box as well and in this i used different colors so you can play with colors with flavors the the consistency should be same that's the key this in this i used pink roses and this is chocolate fudge cake you will get the recipe of this as well in the link um and these are double chocolate rose cupcakes and you if you want the recipe do let me know i love to share it with you guys this is so good and hope you enjoyed the video and if you did give it a thumbs up also follow me on facebook and instagram for more reviews pictures and everything like that and I'll give the link of all three cakes, which is pineapple cake, coffee cotton cake, and chocolate fudge cake in the description box below. You'll find the link. And take good care of yourself. And as always, eat, drink, and think. Bye, guys.